Hello guys, Mr. Danamon2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer files from computer to computer via a LAN network. Now this is a nice, easy method guys for you if you don't have any flash drives or portable hard drives that you can use to transfer files from one PC to another. Now first of all guys, you want to be connected to your network, in my case I'm connected to my router here, it's called a Bob the Cactus. Now, you want to go to the Network and Sharing Center, and you want to make sure you've joined the home group. This tutorial, guys, is for Windows 7 and Windows 8. If you don't have either of them, uh, this tutorial is not going to help you at all, because to transfer files, you need to be part of a home group. And, uh, yes, so you need to be Windows 7 or Windows 8. Computers in the house that are running Vista, XP, or whatnot, um, yeah, you won't be able to use this feature at all. So you want to join your home group, and once you've joined it, you can choose, you know, certain files that you want to, um, you know, share now now I can take any of these and what I prefer to do is actually if you go over to the other computer so, so just pretend this is a laptop that I've got beside me you'd right click on a file and you would click um, you go to share and then you'd click share with home group read slash write now I'm just gonna go to my computer to my left and right click on a folder first click there so there we are now I can now get some files off my computer. Now to do that guys, you want to click start, go to network, and then as you can see here, it's picked up my laptop. So there, Daniel laptop PC, and this desktop PC is the computer I'm on right now, so this physical machine here. Now, so I want to go to Daniel laptop, double click on there, and now it's going to open the files, which I'm actually allowed to go into. So it might take a little while, and while it's doing this, um, usually, usually you can get to network by just clicking on computer, you see this little arrow here, you can click on network, or you know, it is to the left hand side here, um, and the computers will pop up. Um, usually, if they don't pop up, you're not part of the home group. Um, an easy thing to do, guys, is to click on the network button there. If you don't have the network button, right click on here, just some empty space, click on properties, and as you see on your start menu here, click on customize, and if you scroll down the list, you should find network, and it's just there. So you tick that box there, click OK, and then OK again, and then it should be here. Anyway, so this has popped up. So we're now on network and my laptop. If I double click on users, click on Daniel, click on desktop, click on content, and here are some videos. So these are some GTA 5 videos that I was recording from my 360 onto my laptop, and these are the files on my computer. Now, how do I get them onto my computer that I'm at now, or what I'm using now? So basically, you can just right click on a file, you can click copy and then you can click paste. It's as simple as that. And that guys is how you transfer files within a LAN. Now you're probably thinking, damn, that is awfully slow. Now if I just click onto the little box here, as you can see, it's transferring at two megabytes per second. It it, it is generally between 1.5 to two megabytes. Now I'm on Wi-Fi, so please forgive me there. But uh, when you have a wide connection, it's going to be much faster um, because. 1.8 megabytes, you know, 1 megabyte is about 8 megabits, and um, 2 megabytes is about 16 megabits. 1.8 megabytes transfer speed between computer to computer via Wi-Fi on a router. It's not bad. Um, these are other methods where you can transfer files via LAN via TeamViewer, for example. But then you would be going through the internet, so I think the internet would be the uh, the main thing there. But you can uh, do file transfer on TeamViewer via an actual uh, network. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So just click cancel on there. So there we are. So that's how you can transfer files. Go to your network, click on your whatever device, and just drag your file across. It's as simple as that. Might take a while, but you know that's how it is. 1.5 megabytes. And at the end of the day, guys, if you have slow flash drives, um, so say if you've gone out and bought like a real cheap 10 pound, I don't know, 32 to 64 gig flash stick, that's the speed of it. I'm going to show you how to do it via TeamViewer. So you want to open TeamViewer. Mine's actually there, and. Because the file transfer is going to be slow through the internet, you can run TeamViewer in, in your local network. And you generally know this if your ID is an IP address. In this case, it isn't. So go to Extras, Options, and then see here, look, Incoming LAN Connections. Go to Accept Exclusively. You should see that little icon there pop up and click OK. And then you can see the actual address has popped up as uh, yeah, an IP address. Now I'm just going to go to my computer to the left. And I'm going to um, just going to do the same. Just bear with me a minute. So I'm just going on to TeamViewer, going to the Extras tab. And once you're in the Extras tab again, guys, you go to Options. You go to LAN, and there we are, Accept Exclusively. Now, in here, guys, uh, you want to go to File Transfer, not Remote Control, so File Transfer. 
then you want to type in the IP, IP address of the computer that you want to connect to. So in this case, it's 192.168.1.11. And I want to click connect to partner. And now type in the, the password. So it's uh, 3517. Click log on. And now I'm into my other computer, shall I say, so the laptop. This is my computer that I'm on now, you know, this physical computer. Then this is the laptop. So if I go to the same folder that I was in, the content, and drag a file across. So I click on receive. And we'll see how fast this is, because I generally think this might be a little bit faster doing it for your team viewer, but we'll see. So just wait until it's uh, finished initializing the download. So here we are guys, it's now transferring, and as you can see, look here, where it says the megabytes. So if we just count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Generally guys, it is about 2 megabytes per second, and so yeah, it's just a tiny bit faster than what I was getting via the just the Windows Home Group. But at the end of the day, if you want to use this, it's fine. Um, it's a little bit more advanced for you guys that aren't really used to seeing you know, two computers and stuff like that, but this is a little bit more of an advanced method and you do need to have TeamView installed, but this is an alternate way. So today guys, I've shown you two ways on how to transfer files in a LAN network. And just remember guys, if you've got that wired connection, it's going to be really, really fast, literally. And if you've got gigabit um, Ethernet on both computers, use that. It's really going to save you time. But as you can see, look, this is transferring nicely. 20 minutes to transfer a 2 gig file. You know, it's a bit slow, but at the end of the day, I would personally use a USB 3 flash drive and I can transfer a gig onto that within about 5 seconds. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And if you have any questions, guys, put them down below in the video. Anyway, guys, adios.